Hello to everyone. I hope everyone is doing great. I want to make an up close and personal video because it is three in the morning and I am about to go to sleep because I have to wake up in three hours. But the point of this video is to speak on no longer giving people second chances and letting people watch. Okay, so gone are the days of giving people second chances. I, as a previously uh, very forgiving, very wanting to fight for relationships and stuff like that, I am letting you know this time is yours and only yours people just stop just stop people do not deserve second chances if they tell you something once listen to what they're telling you and move accordingly do not fight for people anymore not saying you should wish ill on people wish well on everybody wish everybody to receive their karma what i'm trying to say is the days go by faster and faster every minute is so precious do not waste it do not waste your valuable words on people that show you that they do not care, that they're not going to listen to anything you're saying, that they're not willing to change. Okay? It is beyond unfortunate the level of mediocrity that is upon us. Like, I, I, I don't... Like I would ask, is it just me? But I see masses of people every day in at least a 30, 40 mile radius. And I've lived in two other states. Okay, so that's point one. Oh, and then I want to make another point to that, that I bumped into a what I used to consider a friend the friendship ended because ultimately you just know when a person like you you just don't like you're a hater you're a hater because people want to like shake you they want to shake you to make you believe something other than what you believe of yourself. Know this, people see your potential. And the crazy thing is, like for example, saying myself, I know my own potential. I know the things that I've, that I am capable, capable of. I know the things that I've accomplished in my life. And so you can't even see what I see, yet you still see slight a slight bit of that. And even that makes you feel some type of way. So please remove yourself from my situation. So the point to the story that I was going to say, I guess, this friend, I saw her sister... I saw her mom. Her mom was like right in front of me. So I greeted her. And when she saw me, she was just so happy. And I gave, we gave each other a hug. And you can feel the person's energy in an embrace. You know what I mean? So then when she called for her daughter, who was the 
initial point of friendship amongst with the family she was like right there as well and I didn't even recognize her because she was overweight not saying that weight is an issue that aside her illness like her whole aura was gray that's how I can describe it when I saw her even her skin color was gray and the crazy thing is when she saw me like her whole like it was like poof, like instant I feel this right here. I feel it. Oh. The facade, the the F A K E ness, the fakeness. <sighs> Moving on. Well, to to end that, I also she attacked me with the hug because I was look I'm trying to be cohesive with my videos. <sighs> See, I appreciate feedback. Please give me feedback. I appreciate feedback. If you want some feedback, I'll give you feedback. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. If you want more content, if you like the content that's already on here, you know what I mean? So, to sum this story up, to get to the second point of the video of letting people watch. So, she attacked me with the hug because the way the friendship ended, keep I, I haven't seen her in four, five, six years. I don't even know. I haven't been keeping, I haven't kept track just because at this point when a relationship is done with me, it's done. You move forward. I know when certain people are still thinking about me. I just know it. I'm very clairvoyant. And I know this for a fact. Based on experience. So... She went, hi. And she gave me a hug and the energy was like, oh, I, I've just been attacked. Like, there's no care. There's no love. There's no sincerity in this hug. Like, the fact that you're even touching me right now. Oh, like, don't touch me. I'm very particular with who I give hugs to, even touching anyone of the opposite sex, even handshakes. I might give you like a quick fist pump, but touch. Has anyone gotten a massage? Like when you go and get massages, there's this one spot that I go and get massages at for a few years now. And they have guys and girls for the most part. Okay, I'll leave it at that. But they're like, oh, any anyone in particular? Like, do you prefer male or female? Previously, I would say, oh, it doesn't matter. But then COVID, they shut it down. Post-COVID, they reopened it. No. Female only, you know what I mean? Like, again, cohesiveness. Let me get back to the point. So, the point is, after all these years, you don't, the, that one said friend, it don't look like you're all that, doing all that great. Because it doesn't seem like you've grown up much. It doesn't seem like, like, whatever you carry in your soul is bringing you down. 
it's hindering your own life. And because of that, there's more to this story, but to with what happened, all I can say is because of whatever you carry in your heart and your soul, you try to bring people down. And I see why you were not meant to be in my life. I see why I felt it in my being to remove myself from that friendship, to remove myself from walking in a path along your side. Some people will pretend to be on your team, but they are the ones talking behind your back, putting weight on your back, putting their foot in your path. Like they're the ones trying to knock you down. <sighs> okay. Hugged her sister. She sensed my, like, she, she, ch chatterbox with me, chatterbox with me. And you can tell, like, you, you could use me in your life. I would be a good asset to you in your life. Like, you need someone like me. But you got Miss Ringleader over here and y'all afraid of her for whatever reason. Because y'all cannot be independent. And you do not see how you are your own person. It is unfortunate that many of the people that I have cared about deeply, truly and deeply, and had a, you know, uh, a place for in my life, they don't see their own power. Like they really don't. They depend on others. They can't let go of toxic relationships. They don't feel like they can do things on their own. They compare themselves to others instead of just trying to be the best person that they can be. And this goes across the board with all of society, all of pe many people around. Okay, I don't know what time it is. It's probably okay. Let me let me finish this video. Okay, if you're a subscriber, I thank you. I got more subscribers than actual like relationship people in my life. Granted, I speak to so many people every single day, like. I'm not about to get into personal details of my life right now just because we're at 13 minutes and again, cohesiveness. Okay, second point of this video. Let people watch. Your haters are your biggest appreciators. Your haters are your biggest fans. Okay, I have let previous friendships, a few previous friendships know about this little, you know, YT channel, YouTube channel. I don't really do social media. I did social media. Funny enough, I logged into my Instagram account the other day because... I, along with a few family members, were speaking on a cousin of mine that was... <sighs> Rest in peace, I'll say that. So they asked me if I had a picture of him or... And I'm like, I don't have a picture, but I have a video and it was on my Instagram. So I, down I downloaded my Instagram, which I don't follow anyone. I don't have anyone following me. I deleted every... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so when I'm looking through my photos, I'm like, you know what? 
wow, like when you've been through a lot, which I feel like I have in the last two, three, four years of my life, I've lived in two different states, made a lot of money, saved a lot of money, lost a lot of money, was pregnant, had a child, cut a whole bunch of people off, moved a whole bunch of times. Okay, the point is, you forget, like you're, you forget who you are. Not, like I'm still pretty, I'm very well like, but like there's like this spark, like this joy that I feel like hasn't been lit in a minute. Not that it has to be lit by other people, but even by my, like, by myself, because I'm just so on the grind, being a mother, working, making money, making business moves, just making sure life stays intact. Okay, so the point of that is, I saw the Insta, my, my own Instagram, I'm like, oh, look at you, girl. Okay, okay, like it reminded me of that joy, that spark. You know, I think I'm I think I'm a decent person. Funny at times. Very opinionated, very motivated, sociable. Anyways, so with all that being said, like I said, I don't do social media. I got this little YouTube. I don't even need to say the little part, you know, limiting beliefs. It's all in the way that we think. Okay. So, it's like some people will not speak to you. They won't speak to you. They might just have some type of feeling towards you. They might talk about you behind your back. But best, best believe, believe you, me, believe me, you, when I tell you that they are watching. Not only are they watching, if they don't have the ability, the ability to watch, they will seek out how they can watch you. They will talk about you and see they want to know about you so bad. Like, I'm not even joking. Like that ex-friend that I bumped into. Oh my God, you're so skinny. Oh, I thought you had moved. Like in my head, I'm like, well, I don't know why you thought that. I haven't talked to you since before I moved two, three times ago, like in the sense of I've moved a few times in the last couple of years. So it's like, how would you even know? I don't speak to you. The fact, the fact is people talk about you. People want to know about you. People may not speak to you directly because they don't know how to because they might not acknowledge that they need to change or make changes in their life. But deep down inside your, your inner being always knows. You refuse to let go of the one person that is literally darn near taking your life so you mad you upset but you still watch you still think just let them just let them if that's all they got just let them watch. Let them watch. That's all they got. 
that's all they got let them watch and honestly let you can't do much about what people say about you they gon' talk too so let them talk don't put your energy towards it don't let your vibration be jolted by it you do you stay in your high flying vibration your energy your life depends on it i was thinking about this if people use god's name in vain people use God in the same sentence as D-A-M-N, which is a word that, like, I really don't like using. Like, okay, my point is, what makes you think, why would people not talk about you? Why would people not gossip about you? low vibrating people have nothing better to do in them instead of really digging deep into themselves and into their lives and really seeing you know what not only am i overweight i am obese you know what not only have i been lying not only have I been allowing this person to lie to me, I've been lying to myself. This person will never change. You know what? Yes, I am addicted to the dopamine rushes that X, Y, and Z gives to me. Whatever addictive vice it may be, people do not want to self-reflect which hits on the first point. S let people be and don't use any more energy than the bare minimum on them. Any energy that you want to use on people to change, use it on yourself and your change. Change yourself. Progress your own life. Okay? I have seen, I see people go years, years doing the same crap, the same things. They don't change. They cannot effing open their eyes and face the reality of the mess that they have created for themselves and others in their life. Realize that if people don't care about themselves, why would they care about you? If people cannot move themselves out of their own effing misery, what makes you think they're not going to want to drag you into their misery? Misery loves company, okay? Stop giving people second chances. Literally, you give people a one, two, three. It's over. Even brand new people that I meet. I've met a whole bunch of brand new people. And right away, like, out of freaking 20. Okay, these three are solid, good people that know how to take advice, that know how to give advice, that have real genuine care for themselves, for their families, for others. And everyone else, it's like, hi, bye. And that's it. You know why? Because you cannot waste your time. What's more valuable than money, time? You need time, money. Okay, it ain't about the money. Time, even time is an illusion. Your life, time is valuable because life is connected to time. 
Your life is valuable. Don't waste it on people that do not value their own life. Point number one. And point number two, who cares if they talk about you? If they want to watch, let them watch. Make sure you are in sync with yourself, with your being, with your mind, with your thoughts, with the energy that you're putting forth into this world with your connection to source god allah the powers above the universe whatever you want to name it okay channel your inner being channel what it is that you need to be doing for yourself for your children for the greater good of the world Okay, 26 minutes. If you're still here, you are the real MVP. Okay, and I would hope to believe that anyone that came across this video or might just be a subscriber to this channel, to this content, wants greatness for their life. And possibly wants greatness for the world and wants to build communities and wealth for themselves and generations to come. Why can we not all get on that boat? Relationships. Ships. What ship are you on? Whose ship are you on? What people are you allowing on your ship? Relation. What relationship ships do you have with people? Okay. Peace and love to all of you. Get out of people's way. People have karma coming to them. Don't get in the way of people's karma. I'm just letting you know. It goes back to point number one. If they've shown you who they are, no more second chances. Why? Because when you give them a second chance, guess what? Karma was coming around to get them. But guess what? You got in the way of it. And now you're going to get wiped out. What about that? Okay, 28 minutes. I'm like, you know, talking about the time because you start feeling like, does anybody care what comes out of my mouth? What comes out of your mouth, huh? Think of the things that you talk about with people. People talk too much. Don't talk too much. And when you do speak, make sure you speak things of value. And if people are not receptive to it, like I said, you ain't getting a second chance. I already gave you one and you didn't, you didn't appreciate that. So the second chance is for me. To, do you know what I mean? Okay. Hope you all have a great day. Good night or good morning. Good afternoon. Take care of your health. The seasons are changing. The holidays are upon us.